Hi team and welcome to today's Outlook tip. A productivity tip I will have given some time ago was how you can grab an email and drag it and drop it into tasks. That way then you're setting up your task list and you can set your date ranges that you need to complete that email by. Sadly with Microsoft's pushed into the To Do app, which is a great app, I can no longer grab an email and drag it and drop it into To Do. So let's show you three different ways that you can overcome this if you want to go back to using that technique. Here inside my Outlook account, on the left hand side, you'll see that I've got the to do in my navigation panel. And I'm currently sitting in my inbox. And let's show you what happens if you try and drag an email into to do. By picking it up and dragging it across onto that app and letting go, you'll notice that it simply puts a circle with a line through it. So it wasn't successful. Let's have a look at how we can do this. The first option I'm going to look at is probably not the one you really want to do going forward, but let's try it. You can, by clicking on the apps or more apps in your navigation panel, you'll see that you've got tasks. So you can right mouse button on that feature and go in and pin it. That way now, here in your navigation on the left hand side, you'll see tasks have been pinned. Microsoft is still prompting you to jump over to the to-do, but you can leave it here on your navigation panel. So if I go back to my inbox and I grab that email and I now drag it and drop it and put it into my task, you will find automatically a task will open up. The subject line of the email is now my subject of my task and that email is now embedded inside or the text of the email is embedded inside. Make whatever changes you want and then save and close. So you will see that that email remains in your inbox. And more importantly, when I click on tasks, you can now see that that email has been added as a task. And if I jump up to the to do, you'll see that I've still got two. So it does take a little bit longer for these tasks to show up in the to do app. It's OK, it will come through, I promise. So let's go back into our inbox. That was one option. Another option you've got is by coming down and I'm going to pick another um, uh, email by right mouse buttoning on that email and choosing follow up. And I'm going to use the no date because I can assign that up in my uh, to do area. Now by simply flagging that email, which is leaves it again in your inbox. And I now go over to my to do, what you'll find is, and by the way, task, notice that that task is now there. But if I come up to flagged emails, you can see that this is coming quickly and easily and it's sitting here. Again, if I click on that uh, flagged email, I could on the right hand side, you'll see that it opens it up here and you've got the ability to click on open from Outlook and it will reopen that email for you. So that's one nice easy way and that is by putting a follow-up on that. An advantage of doing that is that you could search for follow-ups also in your search bar. So let's have a look at the other way and this is probably the way I'm going to be using going forward. I'm going to click again on this email that I've got here and instead of flagging it I'm going to use a quick step. Now, Microsoft comes with a variety of quick steps for you already. I'm going to go down and create a quick step. And instead of using one of its options, I'm going to do a custom. By going into custom, it says, what do I want to call this? I'm going to say copy to to do. And it says, choose the action. And the action has a variety of steps in it. So come using your scroll bar, come on down. So I can either put create the task with an attachment of the email or I can create the task with the body of the text. And this is what it's been previously been. So I'm going to click on that and say finish. So now I've set up that quick step. It's permanent there permanently. And if I write email, right mouse button on that email and I go to quick steps and you'll see it's at the top of my list. So now if I click on this, again, you'll notice it acts like it did previously. It takes the subject line in, 
It gives you the email in the body of the text and I can save and close this. So just to quickly show, if I go to tasks, it's now here in that tasks area. So you can see straight away it's sitting down here. It's not a flagged email as this one is. And if I come up to my to do and I come down to tasks and let's just give it a moment see that that email has come in as a task and it's here at the top of my list. So coming on back, three different ways that you can try and achieve that and just looking at the options we had, you can pin tasks to the navigation bar. I'm not suggesting that's probably the best way going forward. You could use your follow-up flag for the email. I'm probably going to be using the quick step so I've created one and I will continue to do that. I hope you've enjoyed today's session.